It's me, KG, and welcome to another video. Today, I am trying to pull myself back together. This week has been a little bit difficult, and I can't 100% pinpoint why, although I have some theories, but I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> Earlier this week, I went through just feelings of extreme stress, and it just got very depressive for me. And that's not a place that I like to be. I don't think anybody likes to be there. So we're trying to break past that today, bring some new things into light. And from a long, like multiple, like maybe two hour long journal session that I did, I ended up discovering that I feel like I kind of let go of a lot of the things that brought me joy and that I found fun when I first moved here. And I let go of those things in favor of, you know, trying to grow my career, get better at my art, progressing in that way. But although I feel like I need to do that right now because I'm, you know, early on and I need to make sure I'm honing my skills well and staying open to opportunities, I also need to take more care of myself in this time and take the time not to do that, even though I have a lot going on career-wise. So today I'm taking a break from all of that to get out of the house and explore Los Angeles, which I used to love doing when I first got here. So right now I'm actually supposed to be about done getting ready and headed to um, my, my event for the day, but unfortunately my roommate was in the shower, so it kind of threw up my schedule. Uh, so I felt compelled to finally do my dishes after putting them off for way too long, as you saw today. There was a lot of dish buildup, and uh, I ate my lunch a little early. And now that she's out of the shower, I think I heard her get out. So now that she's out, I'm gonna get ready, get going, and try and just have some fun today. Well, I am now ready. I was kind of waffling on whether or not I wanted to go, but now that I'm ready, now that my makeup is done, my outfit is picked, the girls look good. Now I feel way more enthusiastic about going. I wish this enthusiasm would have come sooner because I could have invited my roommate to come with me. Let's get going.
Yes, you are. Yes. They look like apples, but also fingers. Anyway, I just got in. Already it feels like there's a lot going on. There's lots of rooms, lots to see, statues. I'm in like a sort of Picasso themed area right now. Is it Picasso? They don't claim it. Oh, it's Roy Lich 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 Lichtenstein themed. He did um, the Marilyn Monroe thing with the dots. Oh yeah, okay, I see it now. Now that I'm looking around, it is very pop art. But anyway, <laughs> there's just a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm a little... Do you see the pop art of it all? The, the dots, the lines, it's like comic art, you know? This girl more so expresses the idea. Look at me, utilizing my art history classes. feel a little embarrassed to be on camera so I'm just gonna show you art and we'll see if I come up with anything to say. Even in times when I'm feeling a little melancholy, I do like looking at art. I enjoyed viewing this. It, it It's nice to try and figure out the meaning of the pieces you're looking at. This table honestly reminded me a lot of the kitchen table I had as a kid in the brown house, as we called it. And in that house, sometimes it felt like everyone was bigger than you as a kid. So even though the table wasn't quite this big to scale, maybe this is what the artist imagine it feels like for kids to be under the table, calling around, having a good time with the adults in their massive chairs towering over them. And I just wonder who's towering over me now. further elaborate on earlier, a lot of the pieces I saw just reminded me of when I was a drawing and painting type of artist and made me kind of miss those days even though I've moved on to different things now, it's still like, dang. This piece in particular is done in a technique that I 
really tried to master but just couldn't quite get and it was the idea of having an underpainting a specific color this one uses blue and yellow that isn't represented in skin and then painting the skin over it and having the skin kind of merge with the under color and just create this really just gorgeous look i mean you see the painting <laughs> it was a style that it was i could just never get my hands around and seeing another artist do it so well is just like dang and then this i just thought i'd tell you um some pieces um just look like nonsense and mess but if you really look like you can see there's a girl in the middle there and it's called abstract expressionism sometimes uh, or something like that when it's just a bunch of mess but if you really really look at the mess there's something there um might also be called impressionism there's lots of names for artistic mess but um it's not just nothing. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that there is a lot that goes into it. And I think sometimes when it's done correctly, it can be really beautiful. This to me seems to be about birth. Or maybe that's just... What I'm fabricating it into because uh, I'm projecting my own fears onto the piece. But it's like, I don't know, there's not a... It seems there's supposed to be a story. I can't figure out the story, but I'm seeing like in this one. It's two ladies dancing, having a grand old ball, but like mysterious body parts are coming out of them. And uh, you know, that's a little what a gory, yeah. But that 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 person is clearly smaller, Christ, potentially younger than the other person. And then we're burning down what I have decided is the tree of life. And then here, like the two ladies from before, kind of creating a person, molding them, sort of like birth. But then, clearly shit ain't right. I just thought like a woman glooping out body parts is pretty birth-esque, ain't it? And then the body goes roasting, and this is like a sexual imagery. It just, it's giving birth is a scam. That, that's that's how I feel about that. <laughs> they have this artist's work at the High Museum of Art in Atlanta, and I just wonder what makes people so famous. You know. Like, it's lovely and interesting that creating fabric out of, you know, old trash because that's all you have is able to gain some notoriety, but like, she's not the first to do it. And it is beautiful. But what about her stands out? Why is she the chosen one? I guess is my question. Although I hate paying for parking and I'm not really living much of a city go life, I will say I do enjoy just I think like therapy. being around the cities, seeing all of the architecture. Like they really be putting their foot in it <laughs> in a city. Like this is the broad. Is it not gorgeous? I love it. And there's another building here. I'm just coming to see what this building is. It just looks stunning, and I must know. Like, look at this. Shout out to the architect who finally got to actually make something that wasn't a rectangle. Look at this. It's giving everything. I just thoroughly enjoy it. But anyway. <laughs> I do need to figure out where I'm actually going because I want to go to Mochinet. So I should walk in that direction. By the way, that building is the Walt Disney Concert Hall. I wonder what concerts they're showing. But anyways, I need to walk in the direction of Mochinet. So let me figure out where that is. washing feelings about big cities continue onward.
I just can't do it. <laughs> like, I just really love walking and seeing these just skyscraper ass buildings. Like, it's everything. It gives me life, it gives me soul and purpose. But knowing that I paid $17 to park here to do this. I can't just let that slide. Like the American Business Bank. And I wonder what could possibly be inside. Like my job, it's kind of like a maybe seven story looking type of building. And it's all very businesses. There's only one floor, really, that's my job. But when you see so many buildings, this big, it is like, what are y'all doing in there? But I've been thinking about just full sending it and just going on an international trip, summer of 2024. For three months just saying if i'm still working a job lucky i'm out of here one month minimum six nah 12 months max <laughs> it probably all just looks like the same ass city to y'all but it's killing me one month minimum 12 months max and just try it out and i'm trying to figure out right now if i should go to i ruled out south america and central america because i feel like i can do that anytime like just take a week and go to Brazil, take a week and go to Peru. It's cheaper, it's closer, it's more accessible. So I'm thinking Southeast Asia with like a pit stop in Japan or Europe. Southeast Asia is way cheaper to travel, but Europe has this kind of architecture that I adore. And like, yes, there would be nice architecture in China and Vietnam, Thailand, Japan, all that, but it's not this style. at sunset giving me life bad mood where depression who never met her don't know her never heard of her I'm driving and vibing
Okay. I just walk it up. I see the little valet man getting in my car. I'm like, oh, do they recognize me? Like, what's what's going on with that? I woke up. He's like, oh, is this your car? Yeah. Oh, that's good. We were just about to move it to the front. Move it? What do you mean move it? How was I going to know you moved it? How was I not going to come back here looking for my car and it's not here? Furthermore, this parking deck is owned by the museum. The museum closes at 6. It's 5.55. Why are you moving cars? You shouldn't be moving nothing until at least 6.20. Make that make sense. Anyway, let's get out of here. It would be such a beautiful thing to show you right now if I filmed any semblance of an outro, but I did not do that. So please subscribe and leave a comment if you like this video. Maybe leave a like. Let me know you liked it and share it with your art ho friends who uh, need to just let go of the past and accept the future, whatever it may bring. Arg. Anyways, this day was a bit of an emotional toil on me, but I got through it. Thank you guys for coming on the journey with me. I will see you all next weekend for my weekly upload. And until then, toodaloo.